Hi guys, hope you're having a good day. I have a new video here, hope you like it. And, there are actually some women out there who actually kinda have an understanding of why men are getting their passport. So, let's get right to it. A partnership. They don't want to have to, you know, bicker or figure out who's leading and what scenario at what time. A lot of guys at the end of the day, when they're looking for wives, when they're looking for long-term partners, they just want wives. They don't want this whole co-lead, co-partner, co-parent, co-lead. A lot of them are not into that. Now, I'm not saying that this means that uh, it's going to be like a complete dictatorship. <laughs> but um, what's going on right now in this culture where men and women are essentially placed in positions to be co-equal, uh, a lot of guys just are not interested in that dynamic when it comes to marriage in particular. Why? Because the expectations are still for men to do and provide and act in ways that are still very much traditional. So it looks like a bad deal. It's like I'm still I'm still expected to put my life in the line, to make all this money, to go and you know do all this work and to provide a safe, stable home. But now my partner has the freedom to one day be traditional, to another day be modern, to one moment be her in a feminine, to another moment be in her masculine, and it just sounds like a bad deal. First of all, it doesn't sound like a bad deal. It is a bad deal, period. But thanks for understanding. That being said, women in the West, they don't want partners, they use the word, partner, just to be nice and camouflage their real intentions. What they really want, are stooges. They want men who will provide for them, protect them, do everything for them, but ask nothing in return. Women want to have the power in the relationship, but they want the man to bear all the responsibilities. So, yeah. It doesn't sound like a bad deal, it is a bad deal. Modern day women are seriously delusional and they're giving women in general, especially in America, a really bad rap and I'm kind of tired of it. Uh, they live on in this delusion and on this pedestal that they themselves have created thinking that all they need is a pretty face and some- The man is already got on peep. This soft girl, Eritrean, did some bullshit. This the same thing pick me's been telling y'all since day one, which is simply act like a lady. You will get further with men if you are nicer to them. Instead, y'all corner term, unfriendly black hottie and sit around like 30 plus year old men girls calling yourself independent, constantly with your dependent hand out. Y'all fight for y'all right to be masculine and exude the most ugly traits you see in men that you claim to hate. And then you don't demonize women until it comes to a pick me because of course, if a man is a agreeing with you, you must be wrong. One protection for men, but constantly disrespecting them every opportunity you get when they're not behaving how you want them to behave. And then the moment they state their preferences, they're controlling and misogynistic. And of course, it's women's empowerment until we don't agree with you. Then it's name calling and belittling. The fake trope about men's accountability when y'all really just want the leverage to act like them socially and not be judged, but only when it comes to bad parents and a hypersexuality. Instead of correcting the behavior, we should be able to do it because men do it too, even though you know it's wrong. And then using men like ATMs, but then get mad when they treat you like a prostitute. But good luck on y'all, South Girl era. The pick me's been new. <laughs> yes! No comments. Everything she said is spot on. Listen to this. It's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore. The I'm an independent, strong black woman, I don't need no man narrative is a scam. Here's why. Society has conditioned us to believe that we don't need anybody, we don't need any support, and we can do it all on our own. What a lot of us has accepted as normal is really not normal. Households were created to be two adults and children. The price points that the world is set in now requires two incomes. That's why you're working two jobs. And if we are not working two jobs, we have told ourselves that we have to go back to school, get higher education so we can make more money, which is a necessity. But wouldn't it be better if you had a whole team member helping you along? Because what ends up happening is, yes, love, your career is great. Yes, I am so proud of you for getting your doctorate. I am so proud of you for buying the house. No, I do not believe that women should wait to progress in life until they have a man. That's not what I'm saying. But we are so guarded and we are protecting ourselves so heavily away from every man that we miss on a good man. Nope. Sister, 
you dropped the ball here. Modern women don't guard themselves from men. They are open to the Chads, Tyrons, Brads, the Pookies and the Ray Rays of the world. And they willingly discard the men who are more able to provide an emotionally stable life. We automatically assume that all black men are out to get us. And the more you think something, the more you believe something and the more you see something. So we cut off all men who are not making at least six figures. We tell our baby daddies we don't need them because you're not able to pay us a substantial child support. So my kids don't need you. And we don't realize that our black men offer so much more than just their financial provision. They offer protection. They offer guidance. They offer leadership. They offer a masculine energy that absolutely depletes you when you have to provide that. You are created to be feminine. You are created to be the nurturer. You were created to be soft and loving. And we are having to play both roles because we are not allowing any man in. Well, Pookie and Ray Ray don't have any problem going in. Just saying. Out of fear that we're going to get the wrong men. And I understand our concern, but... The I'm an independent, strong black woman. I don't need no man narrative is keeping us working way later in life than what we're supposed to. It is keeping us away from the black men who want to protect for uh, protect us and keep us safe. It is keeping us away from the black men that would go to the moon and back to make sure that we're happy and healthy. Make sure our children are happy and healthy. It is taking away the example of manhood that our sons need and the example of how a man is supposed to love a woman that our daughters need. And it is taking away the opportunity for us to rest. That's why our mother struggled for 60 years and now she is exhausted and she's beat down. We deserve so much more. Let's give it to ourselves. Except the women guarding themselves part, she has got a point. Now, here's the thing. You see, men deserve to rest too. Men have worked hard for over 3,000 years. They have put their lives on the line to build a relatively safe and self-sustaining environment for women and children. And what did they get in return? The I'm a strong and independent woman who needs no man movement. Women in the West have shown their true colors. It is a good thing that you recognize the problem. Now, it is up to women and incumbent to women to fix it. For once in humanity's history, it is time for women to clean their own mess. That's and you a black girl right here in this great United States because they ain't letting y'all asses go nowhere. Well, I'm sorry to bust your bubble, sister. But you can't stop us. Oh, so you guys are not letting them go anymore? I thought y'all didn't care. Because according to them and what I've noticed, you guys did not want to say hi back when they said hi to you at the grocery store. Now all of a sudden the man wants to go on the plane and go find somebody and you have a problem with that. Saying why he gotta go all the way over there. Because he went around the corner and that did not work. Us women have to stop being so difficult and understand what it is that we actually want because obviously the men that we want are approaching us and we feel that that's not the right person for us. That sounds so confusing even explaining that. Mad because he's not wearing the type of clothes that you'd rather him put on. When clothes could change and you could help him change that but going to the mall. Remember the song by Beyonce, Upgrade You? Try it. I don't think he would mind if you try to give him a little oomph to his clothes. It's just clothes. Those little things do not matter. What matters is if those characteristics that the man has will last a lifetime of happiness, a lifetime of someone who has your back, a lifetime of honesty and respect, and for us, a lifetime of protection. To say the least, those clothes are not going to protect you at all, sis. So if you're not willing to understand that, then let these men go. You act like he's going over there to find a man. It's just another girl, sis. What happened to the sisterhood? Tell me about it. Western women care for other women, until those other women, whom they considered to be inferior to them, start to get more of Western men's attention. At that point, there's no sisterhood anymore. Men are saying they're getting their passport because there aren't enough fit, feminine and friendly women to choose from. And instead of looking in the mirror and asking ourselves if we would make great wives to these men, we would much rather shame them and guilt them into staying with our mediocre asses. 
Ma'am, if you're not fit, feminine, or friendly, then you're not what these men want. Shut your ass and go to the gym. Like, do we see how toxic we are? Yep. Modern women are pretty toxic. They are so toxic that they are becoming radioactive. It is good to see women holding other women accountable. It is showing that the best way to make women fall in line is to walk away from them. But, at the end of the day, women will be women. They have all made pretty convincing points, but none of them have talked about what's in it for men, or the legal dangers that men can face by getting involved with modern women. But we also have to acknowledge that, Rome was not built in one day. Who knows, maybe they are on the path. One thing is sure, they have recognized the inward problem. For the rest, only time will tell. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, and a sub would be awesome. Have an amazing day, and catch you on the next one. Peace.